We for it, then you are a crackhead baser fiending for the tito. And we got a Ford, a Ford truck, guys. No more dealers. Is that what the CEO is trying to say? Um, Dímelo, Chicho. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah. Welcome to the Chicho, my friends. And that's a Ford. They can't leave the ramp. Damn it. Right now, the guys with the Chevy stickers peeing on the Ford signs, they're right now happy as hell. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Because... I might have a Ford. I might have a Tundra. I might have a Chicho Bruin. Hey, I'm back from the Dominican Republic. What an amazing uh, couple days over there with the family. Uh, we did some cool videos. I went to La Isla Saona. Dude, I went to Cap Cana, which is right there in Punta Gana. I did a video in Cap Cana. Um, I went to Scape Park in Cap Cana with my family. Uh, I won't show you that video because I don't want you guys haw hawking my wife in her sexy bikini, bro. What's wrong with you guys? That's my, that's my chip. But yeah, all in all, it was a great thing. And we did a factory tour at a uh, Santo Domingo boat builder who does a lot of uh, boat building stuff. Oh, look, look, they're getting it. They're getting it. The Ford, the Ford is a quitter. The Ford is a quitter. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. This is the worst Ford commercial. Hey, comment below if you get a Ford ad in this uh, video. So yeah, all in all, it was, it was great. That boat builder uh, was named G Nautic, and um, I had a great time. Um, Santo Domingo's next level traffic, well, dude, that was crazy. Uh oh, uh oh, the Ford, the Ford makes it. The Ford makes it. Oh, look at that! Damn, he looks like he's in the toilet. Right? Uh, speaking of toilet, I came back. I came back, I would say it was food poisoning. Uh, I called some of my buddies over there, live over there, like, nah, bro, that's every day over here, you know? Just kind of get a couple parasites and you'll be fine. People were really nice, though. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys how, how a Dodge does it, guys. <laughs> Damn it. I hope I don't know this guy. I really do. Oh, man, I think we're going to have to add a Cuban, guys. Add a Cuban! One more Cuban! Yeah, um, we just had a little shower over here, and that's probably what's, what's going on, guys. This is a bloop bloop worthy uh, atmosphere here at the boat ramp. Nope. Don't. Should we title this video? How many Cubans? How many Cubans does it take to leave the boat ramp? You guys give me hell because I go ahead and make fun and have fun with my people. Damn it. I earned that. This is the worst Ford commercial, dude. Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me, let me show you how the Dodge does it. Or what is this right here? Is this a Nissan? Look, look, look. Look, an old, an old school Ford. Is the Ford going to mess up over here too? Hell no, don't tell me this, guys. Speaking about Ford, I barely saw American cars over there in, uh, in the Dominican Republic. Um, only saw Yamaha engines, a couple of Mercury's. I was actually on a catamaran that had a pair of Mercury's, but primarily everything was uh, Yamaha and mostly two strokes. And I found out that they actually get brand new out the box Yamaha two strokes this guy's just showing off over here because he knows the other guy in the Ford is hating life all right guys I think we added a Cuban did we add a Cuban no one more Cuban Stop playing around, bro. You know I don't care. Come on, guys. I'm being sarcastic over here. I don't even know if they're Cuban. They, they might be Colombian. I don't know. Oh, sh never mind. I don't want to wake up with a Colombian necktie. Never heard of a Colombian necktie? They cut your throat and stick your tongue out your mouth and go, what you say about me? Yeah, so we'll go, we'll go back to Cubans just in case, all right?
This is gonna be a tough one, bro. Look at, look at this. Damn, I can't. I just got here, and this is gonna be a freaking full video of a Ford struggling. It got it, it got it, it got it, it got it! It freaking got it! Welcome, my friends. All right, well, listen, um, it's not gonna be a full video, but I guess that was a long intro. Uh, let's see what's going on over here with this guy over here. What, what, what truck is this? What truck is this? Let's see what this guy does, all right? We're gonna go ahead and compare today. Same, same exact environment, different trucks, and um, I don't know. Wait for it. I, 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 oh, it's lobster season. It's the first day of lobster season, too. So that's going to be interesting. That should get kind of good. I don't know. Maybe I'll go ahead and make a nice, long, juicy video. Show you guys the, the scenario. I don't even know what's going on over here at the docks, right? There's a couple people here hanging out. I did get a video from uh, someone on Instagram showing Fred. So Fred is Fred is here somewhere, but he's he's chilling, kind of lost. All right, well, well let's go ahead and see what these Chevys do, and uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens here with the Chicho guys. The Chicho, wait for it. I'm I'm sorry, Ford. I listen. I want to do a factory tour, Ford, please. I was just playing, it's the conditions. And the guy doesn't have good tires. It's not your fault, Ford. Damn it. All right, guys, round two. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, damn it. Damn mosquitoes. They're doing me dirty. Okay, guys. Is this, what is this? Okay, this is a Chevy, but damn, he saw I was filming. He was like, nah, dog. Is he, I thought he was going to get this big boat out here. Damn it. All right, guys, this is going to be the Ford versus Chevy video. Maybe we got a Tundra and a Dodge in here, too. I don't know. I'm, listen, the conditions are wet. Low tide is here. Bloop, bloop, bloop is a possibility. Um, I can't gauge if somebody has... Dímelo! I cannot gauge if someone has four-wheel drive as opposed to someone who doesn't. So, I don't know. We'll see. Here's a Chevy, but he's dropping. So that's not, that's not a good competition, right? Four stroke uh, 200. Speaking of uh, four stroke uh, 200, those guys in the Dominican Republic, they don't want to see four strokes. Like the captains, captains, they're like super dismissive. Like get that garbage away from me. It's incredible how wherever you go, everything changes, right? Because it's what they know. And I'll tell you, they bang those motors up. They, they're at the like, they drop you off on the beach Whatever catamaran, whatever panga, whatever you're in, they drop you off like literally on the beach so you can be maybe less than knee deep. And um, and then they get out. And if, if they can't push themselves out, they put that damn motor in the, on, on, the, on the sand, just, in, just enough to get some propel, uh, propeller on it, and they freaking full throttle. Dude, I wish I would have had my, my gear set up over there. 
you guys would have seen some amazing chit show. It would have been pretty crazy. It's incredible, right? And then when I talked to the guy at Genotic, the factory, he's like, listen, these guys are full throttle, three hours a day, every day, you know? So those two strokes can handle it. And basically he said, listen, let's be real here. Every single boat is gonna blow up. Every motor is gonna blow up. You know, at some point when you're running like that. We got some Barcero music already. This guy. Yeah, I, I learned a lot on that trip. Um, next time I go to the Dominican Republic, I take my own food. My own food? <laughs> Damn, sir. <laughs> Why'd you carry your own food? Uh, just what, what about the water? No, I'm not drinking water for th three, day, three weeks. Water or anything. Everything tastes different. But I guess, you know, like, I guess we're so used to certain things over here. Like you'll see, like normally over here we have refrigerated eggs over there. They just leave them out. The milk is left out. Um, so it's just a, a different way of uh, of living, right? And and I'm not just saying them. I'm saying that that's probably the way it is in a lot of places around the world. We're, we're as Americans, we're just not used to it. And, and neither is my colon. Oh no, I was I was running from airport to airport. Get me off of this plane. I gotta go take a kid. I can't hold it, babe. Whatever you do, don't shard on the plane. Yeah, I was, I was looking at my neighbor on the plane. I was like, oh man, I feel, I feel sorry for this little old lady, bro. And I was just holding it, holding it. It was horrible. But whatever, I think I got the parasite out. It was a nice little worm that came out like three, four days later. It's a joke, guys. Relax. I'm being facetious here. Man, why you gotta kill it with the music, bro? We're doing so good, dude. We're doing so good. Um, sandbar y la sauna, absolutely amazing. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll drop a little bit of footage inside the Chicho video so you guys can see a little bit of some of the things, like Skate Park, dude, that park in uh, Cap Cana. Okay, so this community is called Cap Cana. The way that my friend described it, because my friend lives in there, he says, you can fit all of Manhattan inside this uh, community. And there's a place called Skate Park. And Skate Park has like uh, some amazing um, natural pools. And it's, it's just wild, dude. I'll show you. I, I'll sh it's hard to explain. I'll just drop some video in here so you guys can see it. Um, and I'll try not to hawk my wife, all right? I know that you're gonna try to see my wife. I don't want you guys looking at my wife. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Did I mention that my wife is a realtor? I'm gonna have to put her her email below. So uh, I'm actually trying to see if I can persuade her to let me film some of her listings, but she's reluctant. She's like, no, get away from me. So I I I might have to just start competing with my wife. Um, just go to random other realtors that want me to go ahead and vim, video their properties. And uh, I don't know, but I'll do it out for Montaner style. Like I'll do it like Chicho style. I'll do this. I'll do that. This will kind of be cool if you, you know, based on where I'm at, right? I don't know. It's, it's nice to be back at the boat wrap. It just kind of sucks that the day is kind of windy. There's a lot of expected rain and... This guy's coming in uh, nice and slow. What is he trying to do? Is this guy gonna full throttle him or what? Show me your Cap Canna video or die. Que pasa, bro? What's, what's going on, bro? What's going on here? Could you imagine? Oh. Does he want to buy a hat? Oh, he's gonna get, get off my lawn. Get the, off my lawn. The tree of death is coming back. Oh boy. This is where he pulls out the Glock. Yo! Que eso? Hey! Dale, tira pa' acá! Dale, tira pa' acá! Espérate, espérate, una a la vez, espérate. Espérate, espérate. And I'm here thinking he's gonna shank me. Tira pa' acá. 
Wait for... Dale, que se va, hey. se va. Se va el bote. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Ah. Oye. <laughs> Y yo pensaba que tú me, me iba a matar. <laughs> Thank you. So he hooked it up, guys. Gracias, man. ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde vas a ir ahora? Boca Chita. ¿Ya estaba todo el mundo para allá o lo vas a recoger ahora? Ah, ok, dale, dale. Nos vemos. Te veo cuando venga para atrás. All right, guys. So I just got. <laughs> That's fucking funny. So I just got literally some free beer for later. And uh, honestly, I have something to keep them cold in. So I'm happy about that. This is what happens, guys, when you come in hot. You get picked on by the King of Hallover. Wait for it. And now we witness the boom. I know, guys. I know it's painful. But you know what's more painful? The manatee who's going to get a propeller in the face when somebody comes in hot. So there, we will throw the zoom. Wait for it, my friends. I, have zipped, I just zapped the waters. We're not going to sink the boat. It's just going to go boom, boom, boom. And we'll get a little bit of chit show here. So wait for it. There it is, there it is, there it is. That's it. We got it, my friends. We got it. We got it! We got it! No, no! Chito in the house! Mm hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Almost backwards, almost backwards, my friend, but we can speed down. Oh no, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push off the other dock? Is that really happening? Yes, my friends. See what happens, guys? See what happens when you come in hot and disturb the piece. Oh, great. Look at that, look at that. A tow strap, they're ready to be towed in. That, that thing, that is wild, guys. <laughs> You can't make this up. No manatees were harmed in the filming of this video. Yeah, yeah, I make it a point, guys. I make it a point. I make it a point to show your mistakes because some things are just not cool at the boat ramp. And, and speeding on a no wig zone where we have plenty of manatees is not cool, all right? Um, We got some people starting to come back, so we'll see. See if some people catch, catch some lobsters and stuff. I hear somebody come in back there. Oh, let's look at the price of gas. Um, it's come down. Where is the price of gas? 605 from 675 the last time we filmed. So we got a 70 cents decrease at the boat ramp. Locally, I saw 375 today. Um, the highest it got was five bucks. So 125, um, that's a big difference. So hopefully the trend continues lower because it's gonna matter, right? I mean, we have no, fuel in the strategic petroleum reserve anymore but i mean who needs that right we're, we're only fighting with everybody don't even, don't even get me started oh boy what is going on here dude is this guy coming to the fillet table maybe
this guy trying to start it on the starter. Yeah, he's bypassing the, uh, the ignition switch. He's going directly to the starter. Guys, just leaving the, the boat on for like five minutes before you come out on the water prevents all that. You just start it up at home. Get the motor warmed up. And then come. Oh man, damn it, that's rain, dude. Are you serious? I'm gonna effing get rained on now? All right, guys, well. Hold on, hold on. See if this guy gets this thing started. Damn it, I can't believe we're gonna get poured on, dude. What is wrong with this thing? Hold on, guys. Keep on looking at that. I gotta put everything away, dude. This is horrible. Absolutely horrible! Can't make this shit up. Now the question is, what do I save? What do I save? Do I try to save it all? No, I think I know what I'm going to save. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I think I got it figured out. Yeah, this should help. To think I'm actually working over here and you guys are just watching this guy struggle, bro. Did he get it started? Yeah, he did. Look at that. Before I even finished. Oh no, maybe it was another boat. Sorry, I take that back. I take it all back, guys. All right, I'm good. I'm back at the camera. Did I miss anything good? I hope not. This is, this is the real thing that happened over here at the boat ramp, guys. I gotta prepare for like torrential downpours. Did you guys learn something today or no? Parker coming in. Like this guy, he's coming back and the other guy's coming out. He actually made it out. I filmed uh, a lot of Parker boats, I think, at the Annapolis Boat Show. Oh no. Why, bro? Why? 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 Why do we gotta go ahead and have the Barcero music, dude? 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Dolly guys, have a good one. Yeah, right there doesn't matter. Right there is facing forward. I, it doesn't bother my mic. It's when you guys are coming towards me when it's a problem, right? Like, because uh, my mic will pick up on a real, real, real good C strike in the house. Um, man, these overcast. And here's the thing, there's a lot of people out there, guys. There's a bunch of people out there. They haven't come in yet, but they're out there. I don't I don't expect a lot of people to come to to Chicho Live either because Oh, 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 damn it. Did he bust his ass? Oh, he almost did. He just barely, barely, barely saved it, dude. I saw that with my other eye, dude. I didn't, he wasn't, he didn't fall. But I have gotten some pretty nasty falls on this same ramp. Look, just so you guys can get an idea of the monstrosity that is this weather that's starting to appear. It's starting to appear. It's also, the wind is picking up as well. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with that flag? Oh no. Hey guys, do me a favor. Let's let's do a GoFundMe, and uh, I'm gonna end the video right here. That's it. I'm gonna end it right here because we're gonna do a GoFundMe, guys, for the American flag. All right, we need a new one over here at Black Point Marina. That's that's tough to watch. Avermont and Megan seen as always. Um, next time you see this flag, it's not gonna look like that, guys. I promise you.